yes this is the age of the universe the name of this Kuril island is Kunashir and it's situated on the border uh, with uh, Japan Japan is somewhere there maybe 20 kilometers from here just to reach Kuril Islands from island Sakhalin you have to take this type of plane just small plane for 70 persons 70 passengers This is our first day on the Kuril Islands and um, you see very severe nature but we have a very beautiful lady driver. It helps uh, to survive in such situations. This is the only one city on the island. Its name is Yuzhna Kurilsk. I will show you closer at daytime now it's twilight already but it's beautiful it's located just uh, on the uh, ocean coast best regards from Kuril Islands and this is you know what this rock is devil's finger and this is wonderful Pacific Ocean severe weather severe climate this is the center of this wonderful, far away, isolated city or town, Yuzhnokurilsk. And just have a look. This is a bakery, local bakery, and a, a local mobile store, and a wonderful fish store, or I don't know what. <laughs> And this is a small shop of caviar. Let's see what's there. I see the price for caviar for one kilo is, you see, 4,550 rubles. Uh -huh. For one kilo. Uh, let's see what's inside coral. I see, I see cat. Do you see cat? <laughs> this is a local store. What I see, meat. meat. It's not meat, it's fat or bones or something. 560 rubles. <laughs> Hello, cat. Whoa. Hello, guy. Nice to see you. Okay, beer. And sausages, 400. 30 rubles. It's not so comfortable here to um, shoot a video because uh, it's a small space. But here you can see salty cucumbers, traditional Russian food. We are in Russia, guys, and different salads. Have a look at the seafood salad and octopus salad and a laminaria salad. The most popular here, I think. Would you like to eat some salty cucumbers, guys? And again, snacks, traditional Russian snacks, salty cabbage and green tomatoes. Prices are mm, average prices, so 100 rubles for half a kilo. And what's here? Dairy section. Cheeses, milk. Uh, <laughs> where are all the prices? For example, sour cream, 120 rubles for less than 200 grams. 
It's four eggs, 160 rubles for 10 eggs. Uh, different kind of cheese. Mm -hmm. What's here? Oh, Vegas section. Have a look. Terrific. So not so good. Cap uh, zucchini, 50 rubles for kilo. And very bad tomatoes, 50 rubles for kilo. And apples are expensive. Three times more expensive than in Moscow, you see, 280. And um, it's not region for of fruit and vegetables. It's uh, so far away and so isolated. And very bad cucumbers, 200 rubles. Uh, not so bad tomatoes, 200 rubles. Bad, I would say. And the different candies and section of frozen food. And nothing interesting, you know, nothing interesting, really, it's true. Sausages, I don't know even what to comment. Just candies, waffles, and a uh, whole, oh, have a look. Rather good cheese. But I don't see prices and traditional Russian fat. And different meat, rather good, you see. And prices are mm -hmm. not so high. And different cheese. Again, I don't know these names of cheese. I hope it's not so bad. What I like is Japanese. Pepsi Cola and Japanese Fanta. Okay, Japan is only 20 kilometers from here, and of course, uh, we can meet some uh, Japanese, uh, some Japanese products and beverages, and that's all. This is um, alcohol section. A small, small, small store with high, high, high prices. For example, bananas for 270. <sighs> Nothing interesting and bad bananas for uh, 150. I want to show you a little bit of this uh, city. Uh, it's located on the coast of uh, uh, Pacific Ocean and it's small. Uh, there is only one big supermarket, but I didn't manage to get there. We didn't have enough time. And today we are leaving by ferry to another island, uh, Kuril Island, Iturup, and uh, this is Kunashir, if it means something for you. <laughs> and you see volcanoes are wonderful, and the city itself is not so pretty. I'm not sure it's the best place for living. And the climate is very strange, in my opinion. So damp and windy. But people live here. Russians like this place. They say we live in wild nature. And we like it. That's all. This is the whole city. My dear viewers, good morning, good morning. We are on the ferry. And we are going from one Kuril Island to another one. From Kunashir to Iturup. And the way, um, it takes uh, 11 hours um, to reach Iturup Island and you see it was storming the whole night thanks God I have a special pills so I feel rather good 
only 10 minutes before the sun will be rising. It is so romantic, my dear viewers. Please write down in comments what do you like more? Sunset or sunrise? What is more inspiring for you? Good morning, the sun. moments when uh, the sea and the sun kiss each other and the sea is golden really golden <laughs> on the ferry welcome to Itrup Island this is the biggest fish uh, factory here fish plant and the name of uh, this small town is Kitovi Kit means whale but nobody kills whales now it's strictly prohibited and I'm very happy that it is like this Small town Kurilsk is the capital of island Iturup. I would say it's not town, it's village. It looks like something rural uh, and it's real wilderness. The edge of universe. Mm, two plants together. Asphalt plant and concrete plants here in such a beautiful environment. Oh. Real life. My dear viewers, hello. Uh, today we live on the Kuril Island Iturup. Not so romantic name, you know. In a real forest village. And I want to show you a little bit um, the life here, houses and uh, lifestyle and the house we live and let's get started. So we stay here in a small mountain village, you see volcanoes uh, surrounding us and we have our own horse, <laughs> very nice horse and this is our house we live. Uh, I think uh, this is the best house in this village. Mm, I'm going to show you uh, the street, the main street here. Ah. You know, I like to uh, 
ask people, ask local people about their uh, life. And uh, yesterday I talked to people living here and they answered, we're so happy, we like this life and we like our houses and we like this tran tranquility and uh, guys there are no stores uh, no they have there are some stores grocery stores very small and empty <laughs> I will try to shoot a video for you and uh, that's all Mm, there is uh, one more street further. I, I even don't know what to tell you about this village. The Pacific Ocean is uh, somewhere there, just seven minutes walking from this uh, place. Oh, it looks like this. Not so rich. It looks a little bit abandoned, uh, but it's not abandoned. And you see, uh, people here don't have uh, gardens at all. They don't like it. Or maybe the soil is not so... Um, suitable for gardening I don't know why they are all uh, fishermen mostly really I'm impressed <laughs> I'm shocked ah uh, I see dog very serious dog so I turn around <laughs> I don't want to uh, to meet this dog closer Um, there are internet and electricity here and running water, but the style of life is very, very simple. They say, people, I mean, people say that they don't need anything, they just relax here and they are together with nature, nature together with volcanoes and they have dogs, cats, horses. This is our jeep for excursion to Volcano. Yeah, I think we have to go. Because people uh, arrive here to this Iturup, Kuril island to admire nature and uh, to admire um, real nature. Eco-style tourism. I want to show you a traditional Russian stove, forest stove. Just have a look. It's outside and wonderful surroundings are everywhere. And this is Russian bathhouse. It's a typical life of people living somewhere in wilderness, real wilderness. It is 9,000 kilometers from Moscow. Quiet life and tranquility everywhere. A lot of logs. Winters are rather warm here in this region. It's maximum minus uh, 10. I just have a look. Storage of milk. <laughs> and again, stove. The owner of the house promised us to uh, to make a bath, Russian bath for us. Here is the shower. 
and the main room here in a bathhouse just for steaming. The smell is so good, wooden smell. It's early um, morning now and all of my friends are sleeping in, in the rooms in this house. And somewhere here behind the fence, young bear lives. And tonight we we heard him neighbors' houses and they know what's this white not tents, it's a kind of glamping for tourists and I see a volcano. Can you see it? The top of a volcano. And the cockerel is singing. All people living here are not gardeners, they are all fishermen because the ocean is very rich and there are a great deal of salmon here. If you want to see typical Kuril fisherman village, so it looks like this. I think it's so nice to have your own volcano. Just have a look. Before 1945 there was a territory of Japan and uh, there was a small Japanese village here, but now Russian village. Now and forever. Oh guys, this is small, small Russian village, so far away from civilization on the isolated Kuril island Iturup. Uh, we are just maybe 30 kilometers from Japan and very far, 9,000 kilometers from Moscow. And I would like to invite you to uh, check out the prices in one of the small stores, okay? Beer! Oh, just have a look. I see all the sections in one small store. Yeah. If it's written beer on the door, let's start with beer. What do we have here? Island Sahalin beer. Sahalin is a very big island, uh, just one hour um, by plane from here. And um, the price for beer is 230-250 rubles for one liter. And uh, there is a lemonade, 120. And kvass, Russian traditional kvass, 130 rubles. Good prices for this isolated island. People live here all year round. And they must have everything for good life. For example, alcohol. Of course, Russian cognacs, and not only Russian cognacs, and international drinks, you see, Baileys, and whiskey, and what else? Whiskey, whiskey again, and um, gin. Hmm, great alcohol section. And J.P. Chenet, French wine. You see, prices are um, a little bit um, more expensive than in Moscow. Um, 1,000 rubles for one bottle of wine. And champagne, what about champagne? Again, 1,000 rubles and more. But you can buy all you want. And um, a lot of vodka. It's regular situation in all uh, Russian stores and I see uh, champagne from Crimea and from Italy here on these islands, faraway islands and a lot of wines and different juice. Oh, and traditional Russian pies, just have a look, fresh pies. Uh, 
с мясом? С мясом и как With the meat and eggs with onion. Yeah, so attractive, really. And what's here? Um, sausage and yogurt together with sausage and eggs. And what's price for my favorite eggs? 150 rubles for 10 eggs. Um, twice more than in Moscow, but it's a um, good price for this region, far away region. And what about milk? Uh, local uh, Far East uh, milk. So one liter, approximately 150 rubles. Uh, what about teas? I see a lot of teas. Not all Russians like to drink alcohol drinks. We prefer teas also. Uh, different kinds, mostly Greenfield, Curtis, Tess, Richard. <laughs> Prices are, are rather good. And I see my favorite candies. I buy it in Moscow. Candies uh, truffles without sugar. Mm, have a look. It's very, very tasty truffles. I buy it in Moscow for 1,000 rubles for one kilo. Here is 1,810 rubles for one kilo. But this is Far East. And choco pies. And again, candies, candies. Traditional Russian karakums. Mm, I think I will buy uh, 200 grams or 300 grams. This is very, very good, very tasty. And I'm so happy that I can find it here. And different chocolates, uh, big chocolates, 200 grams, mm, traditional Russian and Alpen Gold, 110 rubles. So in Moscow, we can buy it for 60, 70 rubles uh, for, one, for one piece. And Alomka, I know that all of you know oh, this um, um, traditional Russian uh, chocolate with the girl on the cover, 325 rubles for 200 grams. Of course, a little bit expensive. And the frozen section with the shashlik, it's for meat for kebab and the chicken. Um, so you can buy all you want. There's no shortage and uh, uh, if you want to, to buy some pasta, so of course uh, not so cheap as in Moscow, 135 rubles for makfa and 134 um, half a kilo of shebekinski, mm, different kind of rice. Of course, we're not far from Japan. It's a typical food for for Japan region. Very nice and and. Finally, flour, Russian flour. No, not so cheap. Um, 100 rubles for one kilo. Okay, not bad, not bad. Traditional Russian sushka. Uh, very good dry bread. And, and ginger, gingerbread. Mm. Looks very nice, it's good. Uh, with, together with tea or coffee, 175 rubles.